fidelity to the Constitution and the law has been the cornerstone of my professional life and is the hallmark of the kind of judge I have tried to be for the past 18 years. If the Senate sees fit to confirm me to the position for which I have been nominated today, I promise to continue on that course. All right, folks, Merrick Garland uh, getting choked up uh, at uh, the uh, Rose Garden ceremony. Well, it's the last time I'll have to speak in public. Uh, he could be assured of that, at least uh, uh, in, during this calendar year. Uh, joining us now on the Mallsburg panel, Brad Hirschfield, president of CLAL and author of You Don't Have to Be Wrong for Me to Be Right, and Adam Thompson, senior partner for the law offices of Adam M. Thompson and syndicated talk show host. All right, let's start with uh, Brad here. Um, are you surprised at this choice of a uh, sacrificial lamb? I think it's tragic if he becomes a sacrificial lamb. I'm not entirely surprised. I think that it's actually a pretty reasonable choice, especially because he's 63 years of age. I give pre credit to the president for not going for the kind of more aggressively liberal justices he's appointed so far. I think he's chosen someone who will not spend a long, long time, based on what we know about Supreme Court justices on the court, and who really is, and this is the key thing here, he is a constitutionalist. He is not a big ideologue, and for that alone, I give the credit president some credit, and I think whether we like him or not, Mitch McConnell and the Republicans are making a mistake vis-a-vis -vis their own Republican brand by not at least giving this guy a hearing. It is absolutely within their right to deny his position on the court, just as is the president's right to nominate him. But not holding hearings is a big mistake. Well, uh, you know what, Adam? I, I, I love the way Republicans are always supposed to act the right way, the proper way. Ignore the fact that the Democrats have borked Robert Bork, gave a high-tech lynching to Clarence Thomas, that Barack Obama himself voted to filibuster someone he admitted was well qualified in Samuel Alito and voted no on Justice Roberts, who he also admitted was qualified. Forget all that. Forget Biden under George H.W. Bush saying, and this is the Biden rule that the Republicans are invoking. Forget all that. They should rise above. You know what? I'm going to make an Adam Thompson rule as a lawyer who's practicing for over 25 years. They should just make a rule that states if a president's sitting and his term isn't over, he can nominate a Supreme Court justice and the Senate should do their job and pass on him or appoint or, or nix him, whatever it is, but make a decision. You know, people are put in positions to do a job, do the job. As far as Merrick uh, Garland goes, I think it's strategically a great uh, appointment nomination by President Obama because he didn't go very far left, which would have just flat out been denied. He picked a moderate that sometimes may swing to the left, which will help a lot of his causes, but he's someone that the right can respect because he does lean more towards the right. So this was a very good tactical decision, and if the Republicans come out and say, we're not even going to hold the hearing, it really gives some momentum to the Democrats to say, look, the president's doing his job, they should try to vote on this guy, at least give him a hearing, and he's right down the middle. That's the kind of justices we want. Yeah, well, he's not, not real conservative, not real liberal. He's really, he's probably the best. He's really not right down the middle, especially on, on guns, there's reason to believe he's a uh, well, he's a, a gun, uh, you know, regulator. Uh, but he's I don't. I don't to the right than the left. Uh, the, 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 the deal is there's nothing. The deal is there's nothing. There's nothing in the Constitution that says the Senate has to do more than advise and consent, and that's what they've done. They're following the Democrat lead, and they're doing what Joe Biden said they should do, and that's wait until after an election in an election year. So, so Joe Biden's well, we rule here's will be involved. So here's Steve. the problem. Just your best advice now. It doesn't make it right. Your best advice to Republicans now is to learn from. Joe Joe Biden. My best We're in a very select, funny place. And I think it's not where you want to be. Here's what we should do. If you don't like this president and you don't like his appointments, and that is perfectly within people's rights, go out and win this election for the Republicans. Right. That is the only appropriate response. Right. Stalling this process is not it. Well, they're going to stall the process. They have a right to and stall the process. And they will damage the Republican the brand. Nah, 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 I, I want to... Republican I wanna, president yeah, okay. and the Democratic... A controlled Senate, we'd be having the reverse argument you got right it. now. We and it'd be wrong passes. for the Democrats Let to do it. Let the president do his job. Let the Senate do their job. You got period. It. But, the, but the Democrats get past the politics. But, it's the, everybody. but the Democrats don't get past the politics. In fact, now the Democrats are talking about ending the filibuster for Supreme Court nominees as they unilaterally ended the filibuster for other judicial appointees and other it's, issues. It's, That's it's a race, the Democrats it's are. It's a race to the point. bottom on both sides, and that and is the, the problem we have right now. It's got to end at some point. Right. 
Yeah, well, a call quits. well, I tell you what, if the Republicans ever gave in and, and had a vote and a confirmation hearing on this nominee, that would just coalesce more and more support for Donald Trump because the Republican base is fed up with the feckless Republicans. And if they could actually stick to their guns on this, it'll be a shock. A shock, but I think they will. I really, I really do believe that they will. Brad Hirschfield, Adam Thompson, I thank both of you. Up next, the hero, one of the heroes of the Benghazi attack, Chris Tanto Peranto. You hear Hillary said nobody died in Libya? No, we didn't lose anybody in Libya. Okay, keep on coughing. We're coming back. Don't go away.